Hey, it's Joe Pell from Bark, and today we're going to take a look at this 2016 Ukrainian 24 hour ration. Now, you're wondering why is it empty? Because I screwed up my intro because I thought it was from Yugoslavia. But anyhow, let's have a look. What's pretty interesting about this ration is it has a complete contents list, and you have uh, lunch, I'm sorry, you have lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Uh, put out on the side so you know exactly what it's supposed to be for each meal and you have all the weights on the right hand side down here telling you exactly uh, the total weight it's pretty cool I'm gonna bust this open and then I'm gonna try to translate the rest of this but basically from what I can tell there's two kashas and a pork with vegetable stew in here the rest of which I'm not entirely certain about I actually bought this thing. Oh, look at that, it comes in a uh, separate. In 2018, that's when, uh, actually I bought this in, yeah, early 2018, and it uh, expired in 2018. So it's a little bit old, but hopefully it'll still be okay. If you want to believe Google Translate, what we have here are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's go ahead and bust breakfast open, which is by far the lightest of the three. Lunch is super heavy, and dinner is middle and heavy. Our contents are a spoon, some crackers, this appear to be a, some coffee, got some salt, I guess this is sugar. I've never seen this kind of a ration in, in a uh, like a Yugoslavian or Russian thing, retort pouch with a uh, bottom like that on it. That's pretty cool. Since this unit does not come with any type of heating equipment, I'm going to heat it in, tr in the traditional fashion of a Yugoslavian foot soldier, which would be on the side burner of a charbroiler combination propane barbecue grill. Well, according to Google Translate, this is peas and pork with peas and pork porridge. We'll see, it uh, doesn't really sound like the best breakfast in the world to me, but I have been wrong before. Oh man, this turn notch just does not want to cooperate with me today. Might have to, it's because the bag's soaking wet, it makes it super slippery. Damn it. All right, we went to plan knife. Boy, it smells fantastic. Well, that's the full 350 grams right there. I'll try to bring her up to the camera. Really ain't much to look at. Looks like we got some uh, carrots in here, little tiny bits of pork. You would think, I think the peas must be all mashed up. You can smell it. It smells a little bit like pea soup. All right, let's give this baby a go. Have a good look at the spoonful of. Hmm. That's really good. Even though I said it smells like pea soup, it doesn't taste like it. It just tastes like a really savory pork. It's slightly peppery. It doesn't need and the uh, it doesn't need for me to add the salt to it. Although it does lack any texture whatsoever, so I'm gonna uh, crumble up these crackers into it, and that's probably gonna help. I'm gonna give this a little taste by itself first. Wow, these guys are really stiff and almost completely flavorless. I don't think there's any salt on these either, but I'm gonna go ahead and dump these in here and give them a little time to soak up some of the moisture out of here because these are like bone dry. Good Lord. Well, once again, I joined the Clean Plate Club on that menu. That was fantastic. The crackers, although super duper plain, once you mix them in with here, really fill out this whole dish quite a bit. Um, if it would had rice, it would have been fantastic. I'm not sure if that was really like a very good breakfast food for uh, us North Americans, but it was quite delicious. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lunch component, which is by far the largest of the three. Wow. So for lunch, you get a 350 gram pouch, a 500 gram pouch, a tea drink, another little packet of uh, these crackers. You get a salt and a pepper, a sugar, and this feels like some apple jelly or something to that effect. And this thing, which feels like uh, two giant croutons, it's, it's what it feels like. You also get a napkin, and inside the napkin is a wet so napkin. So according to the translator, this is 
pork and potatoes, and this is pork uh, with buckwheat. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably not a kosher meal. So I went ahead and added the crackers to this just to thicken it up a little bit. So uh, hopefully that'll make it a little bit less soupy. It has a nice taste to it like a Thanksgiving stuffy mix sort of, only more soupy. Uh, it's got a really heavy grease ring around the top so this is certainly going to be a uh, very uh, filling tasting. There really isn't very much pork in this. It's almost like uh, more like having a vegetable soup than a, a pork dish. Let's go ahead and try out this four-year-old mane. I can't tell you how excited I am to try this, along with these four-year-old giant Ukrainian, oh wow, Ukrainian, I was gonna say biscuits, but those are like more like a crouton. Let's bring this up close. It actually smells really good. Oh, I just I spilled. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Ooh, it's a little warm. That is absolutely great. The two big flavors you get right off the top of it are uh, the, uh, there's carrots in there and you taste onions and then you get the pork. It tastes a lot like the last one I just tried, although much better. At the end, I think those are potatoes in there. You don't really taste those so much. It could probably, I gotta find my pepper packet and probably throw that in there, that would help a lot. Let's give these guys a try. I'm gonna try to, oh my God, that's, these are gonna give the Panzer waffle a run for its money as far as durability, holy smokes. I'm not joking, my girl hands were barely able to snap that in half. This, <laughs> this is really durable. It tastes kind of like a rye bread crouton. Um, it's okay, I'm gonna throw in the drink here and see if that softens up a little bit. But yeah. Almost impossible to chew. <laughs> so after about 15 minutes, uh, this is still hard as a rock. The flavor is pretty good. It's just gonna require some real serious chewing to get that down. The flavor is good. It's a little bland, uh, the, but the rest of this tastes great, although it tastes almost exactly the same as the last two things I had. I don't understand why they would use the same flavor profile uh, through three quarters of one 24 hour ration. We're on to the dinner portion of this ration. Have yeah, a we'll look inside. Whoops. So another packet of the same crackers. Another wet nap. Another cheesy spoon. We got some kasha. I'm not sure what that is. It feels like jelly or, or uh, jam or honey. One of those. I'll have to look it up. And another hard piece of bread. Looks like tea and a sugar. But here we are. The label fell off in the water. But it is the kasha that is the dinner portion of this menu. So let's go ahead and give her a look-see. Not much to see there. Wow, smells great though. Right off the top, you can, it looks like dog food, but it smells fantastic. Boy, I wish I could, you guys could smell this because it smells so good. Once again, we got carrots in here that I can see. There's actually beef this time instead of pork. I'm reasonably sure. I'm gonna give a big old spoonful here. Looking forward to this for sure. That is super creamy. It tastes actually surprisingly bland. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt to this. And if I can hunt down a pepper packet, I'm gonna put that in there too. Well, I have to say that this is surprisingly unpleasantly mushy. Almost every kasha that I've ever had before has been absolutely fantastic. But this is so mushy, it's almost gross. So I'm gonna try it on this ridiculously hard cracker. Well, that cracker did not help it at all. Might have made it worse. I'm not kidding. This is like, I've had kasha maybe 10 times and it's I've always loved it. And this is just not good at all. The beef sticks right in between your teeth. It is so stringy, very low quality. Well, it's time to see what's inside of this pack. Oh, 
Oh, I think it's honey. Well, it is definitely honey. I'm gonna try it on this other piece of bread. It, the honey's a little grainy, and in all fairness, it is a little bit old, so I wasn't actually expecting perfection. I'm not, I don't even know if I can bite into this thing. Yeah, I was barely able to get to chew a corner off of that. All the breads in this ration are just terrible. I mean, this tastes actually, it actually tastes kind of like a crouton, but it's so hard to chew and it's, I don't want to spill honey in my table. It is like a half an inch thick. It's just tooth busting. Unbelievably difficult to See, chew. That dinner was like decidedly unpleasant. And in fact, there's a couple of weird things about that whole ration. Uh, each di meal had either tea or coffee with it. It was two teas and one coffee. But there were no cold drinks, and there was absolutely zero kind of dessert things. The dinner had a packet of honey, which I would not exactly consider a dessert. But there was no, no sweets or chocolates or any kind of desserty things in that whole ration. Kind of weird. It was basically three soups and a porridge, or two porridges and two soups. It was a lot of runny stuff, nothing really to, other than the two jarring crackers to fill you up. Not very satisfying. Anyhow, that's my review of the 2016 Ukrainian 24-hour ration, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching.